Hello, welcome back to the Off Good Family. Today, hopefully, I should have hit 6,000 subscribers if my um, calculations are correct. So, whoopie doo and all that. Um, appreciate it genuinely from all of you who have subscribed. Ironically enough, 99% of people who watch my videos are not. So if you haven't subscribed, I'm trying to hit 10,000 by December. It's very unlikely, but you know, shoot for the stars and all. Uh, anyway, today we're going to be going revisiting my um, extractor fan thing. Basically what I want to do is stop the smoke coming out of my the back of my laser, pumping it outside. Because I just don't want nosy neighbours to know what I'm doing. Um, and I would like to get the laser up and running and functional so I can be cutting and lasering and doing all the nice lasery stuff for a lot of other projects I'd like to do. So, let's get on. Okay, this is what I've got to work with. I've gone a bit bigger and better. I've got this, and I'll put all, I'll put all of the... Uh, I won't put links because I never do. Um, I'm not affiliated to any of these people and I don't want you guys to go off and buy something from someone I've suggested and they'd be awful but they were fine for me kind of thing. But I'll put all the sizes for all of this stuff in the description. Um, no, I won't. I'll overlay it here. Um, and I've laser cut this box with Elon Musk's face on it but we won't go into why that's there. Um, and basically I've made a box with holes in for the actual air ducts. Now, if I didn't have the laser cutter, I would have done exactly the same thing, but just I would have used a cardboard box, and then I would have just used washers to hold it onto the cardboard box, and then everything else would have been the same as I'm going to do. So, if you don't have a laser cutter and you can't do this, just use a cardboard box. I also have, as a backup, this. This is activated charcoal just from a, um aquatic supply store. And an old t-shirt which actually I was using to cut some of the smoke down before. And look at all that. That is just the smoke. Bleak and heck, it stinks of burnt wood. Anyway, um, so yeah, I might be using this, but I'm not sure yet. First off, what I need to do is take this apart. So I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, there's everything taken apart. And I thought, oh, well, I'll quickly cut some corners and I'll drill the holes I need for the actual ducts later on. And I messed it all up. I was trying to cut corners like I say, tried to do it quickly and they're all out of alignment. This one I had to do two of. It, yeah, I messed up. But it's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm, I'm used to messing up. Right. Next thing I want to do is I worked it out. I think I need four, three or four pieces of this at 150 mil. But I, I will remeasure that before I go cutting. I'm not sure if... Um, I'll be able to mark this stuff with chalk, but I've got some chalk just in case. I haven't actually tried. I was going to and then forgot. Um, does it mark it at all? Oh, it does. Can you see that on the camera? Yep, it shows up better on the camera than it does in real life. Okay. Now this won't be exact, and especially because I'm using a piece of chalk the thickness of my thumb. It's kid's chalk, I just found it and thought, yeah, I'll try it. Perfect, wow, that shows up really well in the camera and not too well in the uh, normal light, which is normally the other way around. Um, the reason I've got two sets of scissors is I'm trying to be clever about things and I'm not sure if this will cut it very well. Oh, it does, perfect. Yeah, that's about it. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze to get it in, but that's sort of the point. So this should make three. Now, if this doesn't work, because I'm running low on time, I will have to um, try using the actual activated charcoal. Whoa, nearly got it everywhere. Um, in the next iteration, I will keep doing this till it works, you know, but um, I am running low on time and I, I probably will sew a little pouch for it to go in. So I'd still have these, but I'd have that sandwiched in between possibly. We'll see. I, d I haven't gone that far. This is another reason why I wouldn't want to do it for this video, because I haven't thought about it too much. Um, I've got my own activated charcoal that I've made. I made a huge, huge batch, did all the recording for it because I was going to be making a... Um, a water filter but I never got around to finishing it so um, 
I look about 20 years younger, so I'm not sure if it will be worth doing. Yeah, I need one more, obviously. But I might look into it, but you know, we, we evolve when we're doing anything like this, and um, my camera works different, everything's different. It, it looks a bit, yeah. It looks very much amateurish, and if you think this is amateur, you should have seen what I used to be like. Right, okay, we've got all our bits for now anyway. So let's start constructing our box. Now I'm probably going to use these as like um, supports for the actual sides of the box just to give it a little bit more strength. This one is just going to have, do you know what? Gonna, this is going to be the whole thing again. Now for this initial test run, I am going to just be gaff taping the box together, but if it all works and everything, then I will super glue or glue the box together and then I will um, just um, gaffer tape like the lid so I can change out filters or you know upgrade or whatever in the future, but we'll see. I may need clamps and stuff just to hold it all down, but we'll have to see. Like not hold it all down but hold it in the right places um, I did write on all of them to make sure that I knew which bits was what but I can't be bothered to look but I do want to make sure that most of the bits on the inside that I wrote on wrote on Stick that first. Eventually, obviously, I'm going to have to stick all the corners with gaffer tape because I don't want any smoke escaping from the edges. But this is literally just to hold it together for now. I may actually have to stick around the vent holes as well, but we'll see. We'll see. started to rain out there. Do you know what that'll do like that for now? Possibly upside down will be the easiest way to do this bit. Where's the... Yeah, that way. I want the wires coming out of the bottom if possible. Um, what have I got? Put this underneath. Close enough. 
This one's being a bit of a git, but we'll see if we can get it anyway. That'll do. As I say, we can we can stick all sides and everything when um, once it's all sort of stuck together. I'm just going to try and get it as close to stuck together as possible. And to do my initial test, I don't think I'm even going to stick all the sides properly. If loads of smoke comes out the sides, I'm not really bothered because it's just being a proof of concept. If it works, then I can go one step further and so on. But we'll see. I take all of my experiments with a pinch of salt. We'll see if it works. If it does, wunderbar. If it doesn't, oops. Right, to my bad. Right, so. This will go like that. It's pretty cool. But we need these in. My goodness, they fit. What are the odds in that? Right, this last one's going to be a bit tricky to get in. Um, I think I'm going to try and put two in at the same time. I don't want. To, okay, I don't want to push it apart yet. So I haven't stuck it in enough. Do you know what? We use the two old ones and we'll put them in just as a little barrier for now and then I will squeeze it all in eventually. Right. Now a lid. Obviously the lid is going to have to be taped down to some degree. I'm just wondering if this is going to have enough, the motor's going to have enough power to get it through. Right. This is one of those jobs where you need nine extra hands. Right, there we go. Um, I'm going to have to stick a few more places. Otherwise, there's no chance this is even going to attempt to work. And I haven't eaten enough gaffer tape this morning. Okay, that will do. First thing we need to attempt is turning it on and see if we can feel any suction. Now, bear in mind, when this is connected up to the laser, the laser will have its own fan pushing air and then this one will only be like a one to suck it through the rest of the way. But we still need to test it to see if it's going to work at all. Right, for this test I'm going to wire it up to a very poor 22 amp hour 12 volt battery. It does work, it's just not very good. We'll see if there's any suck, blow, etc. action. I feel it already. Yeah, there is actually air coming through. I can't believe that. I actually thought, honestly, that this was going to have trouble sucking air through. Right, let's see if we can 
show that on video. You have to be quite close to get it to actually respond, but it is sucking the air through the filter and blowing it out the other side. So, this is where we decide should we set fire to something and see if the smoke comes out the other side and I can hopefully, I'm not going to set fire in my own house am I? Let's just move some of the more flammable stuff out of the way. One second. Oops. I can't believe it, there's no smoke coming out the other side at all. Can you see that on the camera? Um, can you see that on the camera? Can you see that there's no smoke on the camera? Um, there's the smell of smoke coming through, but no actual... No actual smoke coming through. Can you actually see, even see the smoke on the camera this side though? Right, let's try that once more. So I just want you guys to be able to see that it's actually <laughs> working. Now I'm not surprised, obviously. YouTuber burns house down. Okay, there is smoke going in one side. There is not smoke coming out the other. Can you see that? Now I'm, now I'm sucking up bits. Oh. <laughs> uh. Right. Well, I actually do think that's working. Let's just make sure it's not on fire on the inside. No, it's not. It's not on fire on the inside. It did actually burn a little bit though. Um, right. I am absolutely astounded that that worked without having to use anything extra. Okay, so not the most rigorous testing in the whole world. Now I wanted to go outside and use the smoke bomb method again, but um, it's pouring down with rain. If it stops raining um, before I've edited this, then I will do an outside test so that we've got a direct comparison. Um, but you know, with the, just the light and the tissue on fire, I noticed that there was no smoke coming out at the end and it's not going to be any more smoke than that, you know, coming from the laser, unless I've made a serious miscalculation and I'm just burning wood. But um, I think there's a lot of things that we can um, upgrade on it by sticking all the joints together so that there's not gaps for smoke to come out, actually connecting all of this to the actual container. This seems to be a lot more effective than the first but obviously I've put more filters in, it couldn't have got worse. Well, it actually could have, it would have sucked less air in and then it would have been worse. But um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Now, I was quite surprised by how little smell of smoke came out the top. Um, I smelt this side as it was coming out. Now, obviously this is all my own personal opinions and so on, I'm, I made it so there's gonna be some bias there as well. But from what I could tell, there wasn't very much smell of smoke coming out the end. Um, I'll have to do more tests anyway, which I will be doing. But um, as a prototype number two, that's not too bad. Hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and I will see you again next week. If you haven't subscribed and you've watched this far, think about subscribing it. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by Christmas, and it would really mean a lot to me and the rest of the family. Thanks very much, see you again next week. Bye.